So now we know attorneys for children have the same ethical obligations representing their child clients as we do as adult clients. What does that mean? That means same thing that we have to do. You have to meet with your client, clearly, discuss the options in the case and the implications of decisions that they may make in the case, the implications of each decision or each prospective decision, and maybe most importantly, in addition to regularly meeting with your client, is to gather information about the case. So what do we do? And again, even as attorney for child, what I, would use, what I used to do is I would first gather the pleadings from each of the attorneys. So if I'm representing the child and there's an attorney representing mom and an attorney representing dad, I'm going to get whatever documents they've filed with the court and review those things. I'm going to say to mom and dad, I'd like to take a look at any information you think is relevant for the case. Because it's always better to have more information than less when you're representing a client. Problem is... A lot of attorneys for children simply do not do this. And a lot of cases that we get, there are concerns as to whether or not they're representing what the child client wants to see happen in the case effectively or accurately. So what do you do in those circumstances when you have that sort of case? Well, you have an option in these cases to have your children or child speak directly to the judge so that they can have an opportunity to explain what it is that they would like to see happen in the case.